é, inicialmente o potencial da Caporota é, nós temos no Brasil hoje operando é, 22,730 é, creio que nós somos o terceiro quarto país digamos assim, que, em quantidade de número de 630 até, digamos assim, logo após a eleição seja anunciado ah, qual a escolha que o governo vai fazer. Creio que o momento é, não é muito oportuno por causa das eleições. É, é uma compra de, de, que, que remonta uma quantia muito grande em, em divisas, por isso acredito que o presidente deve anunciar depois das eleições. Brazil, Brazil is probably the third or fourth largest uh, C-130 fleet uh, today, 22 aircraft. Um, uh, His Excellency would not uh, speculate on the orders beyond the 28. FX2, his uh, opinion is uh, uh, the city will be announced probably after the election, given the, the size uh, of, of the program investment to Brazil. And uh, it is his opinion that the president will likely wait until uh, the election to share that with the elected president. And from, from your perspective, how important oh, was sorry, it? Sorry, sorry. This is a fundamental landmark. We do have, uh, we have to, in the next two, two years or so, finalize the, this detailed contract. But at this stage, to have the uh, firm intention to generate aircraft validates. I think it's a great statement for the program and uh, certainly uh, strengthens our possibility of discussing the program with uh, some partners. In Portuguese, the word is that this validation, although it is only a letter of intention, it signals the compromise of the Force Aérea with the program, and this will certainly facilitate a lot the discussions with potential partners in other countries and other countries. And it's Rob Houston from Aviation Week Show News. Uh, a question for General Saito, please. I, I understand that the decision on the fighters is now lost somewhere in Brasilia, but could you tell us please what the Air Force has said in terms of your recommendation and what you would like to see flying in your colors? And could Mr. Neto perhaps tell us what he thinks is the best partner for Embraer in that process, because I'm sure you have done some studies of that too. Quando nós, quando nós convidamos as empresas a participarem desse programa, é como se trata de um, de um produto muito estratégico, nós assinamos com cada um dos concorrentes um termo de confidencialidade. Então, é, até a decisão, nós não podemos dizer a nossa opinião publicamente. De maneira que eu me abstenho a não responder essa pergunta por causa da confidencialidade é respeito a cada empresa participante. The whole process has been conducted under confidentiality agreements with all the bidders, and uh, His Excellency refrains from uh, from you know, making any comments in that regard, and uh, apparently declines to answer the question uh, in respect for the such confidentiality until the final decision is uh, is developed. Answer, I'm getting to, uh, to the point you asked, uh, which would be the best partner for Embraer on the FX2. 
pretty much I'm in alignment with the Brazilian Air Force. Okay. Uh, we are potential beneficiaries of the offsets that will be generated within this purchase process. So we are neutral, we align with the Brazilian Air Force, and of course we have it with each of the bidders in straight alignment and under the guidance of the Brazilian Air Force, okay, not only us, and I believe other, other companies in Brazil, uh, we, we uh, uh, focus on extracting the best and available technology so that this can be uh, for each of the bidders, so pretty much it. Uh, can you can you also provide some rough idea of the value of the letter of intent for 28 aircraft? We, yeah, this is something which uh, will be uh, it's part of obviously it's part of the, the contract negotiation. Uh, so there is no uh, there is no figures at this stage, but uh, I think it's fair to say that Embraer has to be competitive. There are other airplanes out there. We have to be competitive. In Brazil, we not we do not. Uh, expect Brazil to pay more for our aircraft than we pay to procure uh, aircraft. When do you when do you expect a contract to be signed? When? Yeah. Uh, probably within two years or so. Yeah. I want to talk about in Portuguese. I want to say my dad for this avion. This is part of the entrenta negotiation contractual. And what I said is that with the Embraer, I don't have any expectation that the government Brazilian pay more. Por aviões da Embraer, que pagaria por aviões competidores da Embraer. É, a outra pergunta foi: de quando se deverá assinar o contrato? Eu estimei ser de dois anos. Nelson Douglas, de Tessa Médica, novamente. A Embraer, ou a Força Aérea, está em negociações com algum produtor internacional para que seja avião seja colocado no seu, no seu portfólio? No caso, a Airbus ou o Boeing? <laughs> we're, not, we're not in negotiation with anybody, any other manufacturer to have a KC390 part of their portfolio. This is an Embraer aircraft. I'm Kasha from Group Review. And regarding your uh, negotiations with potential partners, um, is there, uh, let's say, uh, a requirement for uh, them to bring uh, customers with them? Well, the discussion actually is, uh, is at the government level. It's, uh, it's, it's more top down than bottom up. So, uh, government to government, deciding combination of industrial cooperation and truly <coughs> procurement. So, any cooperation which is being discussed, this involves not only industrial participation in the program, but also acquisition of aircraft. Eu só reforçando que as discussões de parceria no programa que estão em andamento envolvem tanto a questão industrial quanto a questão de aquisição de aviões. Essas condições, essas, essas discussões são conduzidas primeiro de governo a governo e é, depois a nível industrial. Não é um processo de baixo para cima, é um processo de cima para baixo. Eric Bars, uh, Armada International. What is the, uh, when is the 28th aircraft of that batch supposed to be delivered? So, uh, the, the production, okay, as we understand, we start in 2016, okay, and uh, we anticipate something like a range of 18 to 20 airplanes per year, okay, on a steady state, okay. So, uh, assuming this, this is yet to be uh, negotiated, okay, to be def totally defined, uh, and of course, the Brazilian Air Force has uh, its own plan to incorporate those aircraft into their into service, I would say that not less than three years. 